Okay, first step on the, the first example would be to do what with this three? Let's divide by the three and get rid of it. That's going to leave us with the absolute value of x plus seven equals eight. We're going to do our negative version and our positive version. So x plus seven is equal to negative eight and x plus seven is equal to positive eight. If I subtract 7 from the left equation, I get x is equal to negative 15. And if I subtract 7 from the right equation, I get x is equal to 1. I can go back to this equation here. Negative 15 plus 7 would be negative 8, and the absolute value of negative 8 is equal to 8. If I put the 1 in, I get 1 plus 7 equals 8 and the absolute value of 8 is also equal to 8. For this one, what do you think the first step is? Plus 3. Yep. We can't do anything to do our two possibilities until we've gotten the absolute value by itself. Notice over here, the x isn't by itself, but the x is in the absolute value and we're trying to get the absolute value isolated. Over here, once we get this three on the other side of the equation, now we have the absolute value of x is equal to seven. I love these ones, because all I have to do is say x is equal to negative seven, and x is equal to positive seven. And if I go back up here, the absolute value of negative seven would be seven, and seven minus three is four. And the same would be true if it was the positive value. You guys have 12 problems. It would be best if you finish them in class so you're not trying to work on them over the long weekend, right? Page 115, numbers 1 through 6, and numbers 14 through 19 on a separate piece of paper, but you can use your notes. Okay?